adventures. All right, well, you guys knew I had to get it. This is the new Sig Sauer X10 Comp. It is a carry size pistol with the new X series carry size grip module for 10 millimeter and 45 ACP, which is interesting. It's only available in those two calibers, this particular grip module, but it's a 3.8 inch bull barrel. And the whole deal, why they call it the comp, is right there. They've got this ported slide integral. Really interesting. So this could be a game changer. I know people always dog me for saying, oh, this is the new Bex 10 millimeter. Um, I have some doubts. You know, I like what I like right now. I like the Glock 20 Gen 5 and the FN 510 Tactical, but I'm not going to rule this out because I, I do have to say this is pretty sweet. So uh, we're just going to look at some features in the trigger today. Tomorrow I will have a full review and range trip. So tomorrow morning, check that video out. But um, really good looking 10 millimeter. And I got the new Psyli Wolf X Pro that just came out that clamped on there i actually really like it so we'll see how that does but this has the x series uh, flat sort of flat face trigger it's got a 90 degree break and i i consider like 1911s with a full flat trigger the uh, you know a true flat face trigger but this is very i mean i like how it doesn't have that bladed safety that glocks have and my only complaint with the original SIG X10 was that it felt, it was a good trigger, but it felt a little mushy, kind of had that mushy vibrate. Uh, there's not much travel. Really nice reset, how short that is. There's not much travel till you hit the wall. And then the brake. It doesn't feel really clean and crisp, but I will say when you're shooting it, you don't notice. It feels clean and crisp when you're shooting it, just when dry firing. It's got that vibrating, spongy feel. So the trigger on the original full-size X10 was originally touted as four pounds, four ounces. We did see some variation with it, but I could not see anywhere printed what the poundage was on the new X10 comp trigger. It looks like it's the same X series trigger, you know, and they say it's our X series trigger with the 90 degree break. So I'm assuming it's the same roughly four pounds, four ounces trigger, but we're going to take a look at it and just see what kind of readings we get. Okay, <laughs> it was in kilograms. Three pounds, 2.2 ounces, and that's what it feels like. It feels pretty light. Let's try this again. Pretty consistent, three pounds, 2.6 ounces. Enter that. Three pounds, 13.1 ounces. You got a couple more, average of five or so. Really consistent, three pounds, 3.7 ounces. Enter that, let's get one more. A little heavier that time. Three pounds, 6.1 ounces. We got our average of three pounds, 5.5 ounces. So not too bad. So I'm gonna have the full video out tomorrow, like I said, tomorrow morning. But if this does take off 20% of the felt recoil with this in comp slide up there, this is gonna be a compelling little compact 10 millimeter. I can tell you I like the ergonomics and the feel of it right now. Uh, Frank is really interested in this. He loves his full size X10 and he really wants to check this out. So really intrigued by it. 
really impressive trigger. I mean, this may give that XDM trigger a run for its money, the new Elite XDM Meta Trigger. I mean, this feels really good, and that trigger is extremely hard to beat, but this does come close. So can't wait to shoot it. Check out my video first thing tomorrow morning. I'm going to have a full detailed review and range trip. Thanks for tuning in, guys. My name is Duke. I like to trade my guns just for fun, but now I have none. Oh, look at Chuck my bear, but I don't care. I got a 10 millimeter. Shoot out your adventures. Watch the balls die every time. Guaranteed.